Each episode, we see what's happening in a biblical text and how it sheds light on Jesus and his gospel. Let's jump in. After a long ministry that foreshadowed what Jesus would have to do to rescue his people, Jesus' time finally comes. A mob arrests Jesus and brings him to be tried and sentenced by the high priest and Pilate, the Roman governor. At his arrest, trial, and sentencing, Jesus proves he is far more than people expect. He's more than a revolutionary. He's the true king. He's more than a rogue preacher. He's the one proclaiming the coming of the kingdom of truth. And he's not simply Jesus of Nazareth. He is God himself, the great I am. A mob of soldiers confronts Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane and asks if he is Jesus. He responds with a phrase John has used six times in his Gospel account, I am. John tells us that the weight of those words uttered a seventh time by the one who made the world in seven days causes the mob to fall down before their creator. Jesus, God himself, carries all authority. And he's about to lay it all down to save sinful people. Jesus arrives at the high priest's home to be interrogated. Almost immediately, Peter denies he's ever met Jesus. But while Peter lies, Jesus tells the truth. He doesn't back down from anything he said during his ministry. And he even challenges the high priest to produce witnesses. But determined to kill him, the Jews take Jesus to Pilate's for sentencing. Jesus is condemned to death for claiming the truth about his identity while Peter denies even knowing Jesus twice more. Pilate isn't stupid. He knows the Sanhedrin has an angle. The Jews frame Jesus as a threat to Roman power, which is odd. Jews don't normally help Rome get rid of its problems. So Pilate asks Jesus, are you the king of the Jews? And what have you done? Jesus explains that he is the king of truth, and his truth sets people free. Pilate rejects that there is any truth other than power and political expediency. His point is proven when he offers the Jews a choice between freeing Barabbas, a known threat to Rome, and Jesus, whose kingdom is not of this world. If the Jews are really concerned about Rome, they'll free Jesus. But if it's all about politics and power, they'll free Barabbas. They show their hand and choose Barabbas. Both the Jews and Pilate choose power over the truth that Jesus is king. For now, power trumps 